Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how I did Operation Sea Lion in the late game. And this is not meant to be any kind of guide or tutorial. This was just my test campaign as German Reich with this Manticons expansion. And as you can see in this picture, United Kingdom had all about 600 divisions defending the home island. So submarines are really powerful in this expansion. I destroyed so many allied convoys with submarines, so they weren't able to get anywhere from the island. So here I have prepared five naval invasions and one paratroop order. All the ports were heavily defended, so I really had to invade areas which didn't have ports. And that's a bit risky because all of my troops could have been destroyed because of the supply issues. I destroyed most of the Royal Navy with uh, naval bombers and port strikes. I didn't get so many ships sunk by my Kriegsmarine. So here was our first successful landing next to Dover. And here those new amphibious vehicles are ready to invade Dover. Now we had at least one port in the southeast. And here Sepp Dietrich landed with tanks and motorized units in the Wales region and I was hoping to secure it pretty quickly. And here's the fourth naval invasion. I was hoping that I could unite all of my southern front lines so the supplies could be spread to all four armies and mean meanwhile Rommel was invading uh, the northern part of United Kingdom. And here he is, Rommel, with his panzers, and it was pretty difficult to secure port in the northern region. I tried to do Operation Sea Lion in 1940, when France had capitulated, and I did land in Dover, but I suffered from terrible supply issues even though I had a port. So I had to fall back to France, and then I realized that I had denied access to these three sea regions surrounding the British Isles and of course then my troops weren't able to get supplies there. Rommel was really struggling in the Scotland region and I was worried that I might lose all of my panzers. Of course it really didn't matter that much but it is always annoying to lose panzers. But I was able to support attacks with nukes. I tried to drop some supplies with the transport planes to the northern part, if it could help with the supply issues. And now in the south our front lines were united. We were able to surround London. It was getting easier to push towards north. There were many divisions trapped in the southwest. And that's a nice overrun. Rommel was still without a port, so it was time to drop more nukes to north. But at this point it was pretty obvious that we are going to capitulate United Kingdom pretty soon. So many divisions are about to die in these regions. And that's the end of the United Kingdom. So now with Mandagons, 
the threat interdiction and submarines are really powerful, but it can create strange situations like this, that the United Kingdom isn't able to move its troops from its home island, and they are trapped there, and they just keep creating more troops, and it is getting harder and harder to do the naval invasion. But like I said, it is possible to do Operation Sea Lion earlier in the game, after the France capitulates, just remember to allow your convoys to travel through the English Channel, for example, to give your troops some supplies, if you do the naval invasion to southern England. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye bye.